in 1982, Durham Rescue Mission actually got the burden to have a rescue mission started here in Burlington. So Ernie Mills came here and actually started Alamance Rescue Mission um, in a home over on Holt Street. And it was there uh, up until 2004. And they purchased this building. Alamance Pregnancy Services was taken on in 1999. Um, it was a ministry that had been started by local pastors in the area. And um, they could not handle it anymore. And so they asked Piedmont Rescue Mission to take it under their umbrella. So then we had Alamance Rescue Mission and Alamance Pregnancy Services here under Piedmont Rescue Mission. I would say back before COVID, we were having close to 100 girls, new clients coming in a year. New clients in the men's division, it, it can probably range from maybe 200 to 250 a year. Most of the men that we deal with here in our men's division are homeless and they're homeless due to things like uh, alcoholism or some other drug addiction and they need a place that they could come to. A lot of the guys we deal with fall through the cracks of regular recovery programs and so we, we have classes in prioritizing your life. We uh, help them to learn how to pay bills, how to budget their money all kinds of things like that we do. So it's important to the individual who needs our service. And uh, then also it teaches them how to go out, earn a living through our thrift store. They work there and they learn how to, how to really just mesh back into society. When I came in to Piedmont Rescue Mission in 2009, um, I had a lady come in to this office and, and was food deprived. She needed help. I go over to the supervisor on the men's side and say, I need a food box for this lady and her family. And he said, we don't have enough food to share. All we have is the food that we have for our men. And that kind of shot a bullet in me. I'm like, what? So I said, don't we go to the Second Harvest Food Bank? Um, well, we're partnered with them, but in reality, they had pretty much stopped going to the food bank. I said, I need their paperwork. And, you know, my husband is the executive director, so I go to him and I present this problem to him. And I say, uh, we don't have enough food to share with our community and something's wrong. So I took it over in 2009. And since that time, I've never had to say, we don't have any food to give you. 100% of the food that our food box distribution gives out comes from Second Harvest Food Bank, 100%. Because of the food bank and with the, the supermarkets that uh, you guys set us up with, and they'll give us extra things sometimes. They give us some extra meat or some vegetables, things that uh, they haven't been able to give out anywhere else. Well, we put them in the food box. Anything we get extra, we put it in the food box. And so the folks, when they come in, they get a pretty good amount of groceries and it's enough to get them through the week. And so that helps, that helps a family. So you can spend your money on things like paying your rent or a car repair or uh, heat, and you can still eat. The motto of the mission is a hand up, not a handout. And so our goal is to see folks come in, get our help, but also to encourage them. So it's more than just a food box. It's a relationship that we build too.